today we need to get into people saying that V might have been hurt at the camp and what that is about. We also need to talk about people saying that they caught CCTV like footage of Jungkook and a blonde girlfriend, whatever that means. And then we have Hive being attacked for changing skin color. So you dumplings and stay decide hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, it's Hastily Mug merch, and let's go. We need to get into Hype recently being attacked, and for some reason, I can't really say too much against, but I can explain a little bit more. Hype recently posted some photos from the behind the scenes of the IU music video, Love Wins All, and people noticed there was some sort of filter on top of it. It takes no genius to see the filter and realize that it's not something that looks natural, and people don't typically have this super pale, almost sickly complexion. IU then posted a similar photo, not the exact same, but similar, and we noticed that V and IU look looked a little bit more normal. People complain that Hybe or the K-pop industry prefers their talent to look so pale and white. This is apparently the beauty standard there. This also dragged on to a more recent post where people were talking about some photos posted of Compost Coffee. Some people, I believe, darkened the photo that was published. However, I don't know if I blame the coffee brand as much as it could be the label wanting a specific look to go with Compost Coffee. Now, I don't blame anyone for this. I want to start there. Whitewashing in photos and videos is a long practice that so many idols and labels participate in. Not only that, the beauty industry in Korea has so many products with skin lightening in it. This doesn't mean that if you are a person with a deeper complexion, you are automatically considered ugly, as beauty is defined by so many different things. It's not just skin. It's also eyes, hair, all of the things. However, yes, one of them is skin color, and that is very unfortunate. However, I want to say it doesn't come from a racist place. It's not like traditionally Koreans were looking at white people and then black people and then they just automatically decided that white people's skin complexion was better. It came from the fact that Korean skin is already naturally on the fairer side and those who were wealthy and in power were extremely light. Those who worked on a farm every day or were out in the sun all day tend to be darker. And so Koreans equated the idea of not working and being rich enough to not do so as beauty. So it came from that as opposed to a specific hatred towards a skin color. Now, can you blame Hype or any label for having their team allegedly lighten the skin color of their artists? It's just a practice that works, and I'm thinking they have the data to back that up, that when the label does it, it sells better, because they wouldn't do it otherwise. I'm thinking since K-pop is more global, it could be that when these whitewash photos are posted on Chinese social media or Korean social media, it actually does really well. I don't know. I do think people can have a problem with the alleged whitewashing, but also understanding the culture and understanding why people do this is extremely important. Denying the beauty standard there and outright claiming things like racism or or whatever it is, it's not exactly the full truth and we must take things in context. So is it bad? It's not great. But is it coming from a place where the label hates it? if V were to have a tan or hates people who are darker? No, definitely not. There's also been some alleged rumors going around about V and what is going on with him at the military camp. Recently, if you are unaware, he's been training and doing a really good job at him being a trainee in the military. He has worked tirelessly and I'm sure he has won so many more awards and accolades for all the amazing achievements he has gotten. As usual, he is someone who performs better than most people. With that said, there began to circulate some rumors saying that V has been injured during his training. Of course, him getting injured makes a lot of sense. They're not doing easy activities. Some pages were saying things like V got a leg injury or that V was hurt and that the nurse of the camp came out and told everyone about this and it was a small injury so it was nothing to worry about. But armies were still very upset and scared over what V's condition was. Now something I've never talked about in this channel before is the idea of AI content or AI news which seems to be all over YouTube right now. If you're unaware of how AI videos are made, let me explain just a little bit. So basically they can have something like ChatGPT write a, a bunch of stories and make up a story that is just interesting and that people would want to watch. And then they can have someone do a voiceover for that. And then on top of that, add some photos and stuff and bam, add a nice title, the video is published. And some of these channels are like this. I'm not trying to come for any specific account. I've seen it all over. And they will report these things that I cannot find the original source of. But then on top of that, they'll say like, Hive let them know. And meanwhile, I'm looking at the account with like 200 subscribers. Why would Hive let them know? Now the idea that any of the BTS members can get injured from the military and especially like a minor leg injury, that's not a wild claim. And of course that is pretty believable that that could happen. 
because the training is so rigorous and it's things like push-ups, pull-ups, climbing up a mountain, all of those things, which obviously could sprain an ankle or injure yourself in a very minor way. However, I don't believe any of this stuff actually happened because it would be huge news. It would be all over the news if someone from the military came out to say that V got injured. Another reason the story is so believable is because V and other BTS members have gotten injured from dancing and things like that. These reports were saying that V got rushed to the emergency room or things like that and I think if it was a minor injury, V might not even get to the emergency room. We're talking about someone who is close friends with someone like Suga who almost for a decade just decided to live with almost a dislocated shoulder just so he could keep working. However, I can understand why people want to come up with these stories or who wants to see these stories because we want to get into an update on what the boys are doing at the camp and we want to know if they're okay and what their process is. Hearing about an injury makes a lot of sense that would happen and of course gives us an update on what is going on. There however might not be any updates recently on what they're doing at the camp and if they're out and when they're coming out or all that sort of thing. But the fandom has been doing a lot of stuff outside of that and kind of digging up and resurfacing a lot of old content to talk about and one of those things is a recent clip before he enlisted. Obviously of him entering either his hotel or his building after coming out of a black van and people were questioning who that person is. So let me backtrack and let me explain what happened. If you go onto Jungkook's TikTok account, you'll very quickly notice that when you watch one of his dance videos, that right at the bottom of the dance video, there is a search suggestion. If you don't know what this is, basically when you watch a TikTok video, a lot of the people in the comments are leaving comments about that video or leaving comments about the person in the video. The app will start to have that comment and have that phrase be kind of set up so that all the audience has to do is click on it and they can search it on TikTok. One of the phrases that was used was Jungkook kissing a blonde girlfriend. Like this was either something that everyone in the comments was writing or something that everyone was searching up after they watched the Jungkook dancing video. Of course then there was a viral video that popped up right at the top where we got to see him and a person walk into either his hotel or his apartment building that he lives in. So he came out of a black van where I'm assuming he was doing an interview or press or a show and walked alongside with, in my opinion, appeared to be a staff member. Member. People were comparing this person to the blonde girl that they believed Jungkook was with during his trip to Dubai. So going back a little bit on this, people believed that Jungkook was with a blonde girl in Dubai and they were like hooking up and apparently this was a store owner, like a jewelry shop owner or something. So people believe that in this clip of Jungkook leaving his black van, that the girl next to him is that blonde girl from Dubai. This footage was taken from either a paparazzi or a fan and he believed it was like a very stalkerish, almost CCTV-like footage where they were just trying to capture Jungkook doing something really bad or scandalous. And the thing is, if he was doing something romantic with someone, the fact of the matter is it's not a bad thing. And so even if people were trying to catch him doing a bad thing, nothing would be bad here. People were going as far as saying that he was going into a hotel just to be with this girl and that they were kissing in the lobby or that they were doing something inappropriate. However, the likelihood of that being true is very low because he's aware that fans are outside watching, he's aware that reporters are outside watching. Why would he bring a girlfriend where everyone can see this person clearly? That was a staff member that was supposed to just be there, that was supposed to help him throughout his schedule. I also personally don't believe that there was a blonde girl in Dubai. The fact that this rumor got so big and there's like no face of this person, there's still no name, the fandom refers to this blonde girl in Dubai as the blonde girl in Dubai. That makes no sense. That person clearly does not exist and I don't know how that rumor got so big. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.